That's right, everyone. Stable Diffusion 3 is finally here. They finally did it. They released it. Kinda. As of right now, Stable Diffusion 3 is available as an API through the Stability AI website. However, they have said that they will be releasing the weights to the open source community soon, as long as you have a Stability AI subscription. To be honest, I can't really fault them. If you've been paying attention in the news, you'll have noticed that Stability AI is running into a few problems. One of them being financial issues. And for a moment, a lot of us in the open source community were a little afraid that we wouldn't get access to Stable Diffusion 3 as an open source model. So I'm very happy to see that they are releasing it to the community, even if we have to pony up a subscription fee to get access to it. While I personally don't agree that that's the best approach, and there are a lot of ways for an open source company to survive, I do understand that they had to make a decision promptly to try and raise funds while staying true to their open source roots. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how you can get started with Stable Diffusion 3, start messing around with it in Comfy UI, and I'll show you a couple of images of what the model can do. If you're interested in seeing more images from Stable Diffusion 3, please come and check out my Instagram where I'll be posting more images there as well as on the Discord. And with that, let's get plugged in. So if you wanna mess around with Stable Diffusion 3, it's really easy. Ironically, it's actually easier to start using it on Comfy UI over Automatic 11.11, which I couldn't find a plugin for that makes it work. So to start using Stable Diffusion 3, Make sure that you've got Comfy UI updated. You can do that by going to Manager and Update Comfy UI, or you can use Git clone by opening up a terminal in your Comfy UI installation folder. Once that's done, head over to Install Custom Nodes and just grab and just search for Stability. And you'll see here the very first entry, ID number five by Stability, Stability API nodes for Comfy UI. And go ahead and install it. Since Stable Diffusion 3 is currently only available by API, we will be using nodes that take advantage of that. The good thing is, is it allows you to run it on any computer. You could run this on the most potato, potato PC because your prompts are gonna be sent out to the Stability AI server. However, the downside of it is that the nodes are very limited and there's not a lot that we can do with what's available as things stand. Fortunately, as I mentioned earlier, Stability AI has said that they will be releasing the model to the open source community. And hopefully once that's out there and people start iterating on it, we'll be able to take advantage of all the great nodes and technologies that have come up so far, like IP adapter, control net, and so on. Don't forget to refresh after you install and to start using Stable Diffusion 3, just search for the stability nodes. You'll see one here called Stability SD3. And that's it. You'll be presented with a node where you can select the model, in this case, Stable Diffusion 3 or Stable Diffusion 3 Turbo. Put in your prompt. In this case, let's grab a pirate queen standing on the bow of a ship holding a flag that says SD3. Make sure you put any text in quotations. We'll leave the C to zero, control to generate random, strength at 0.5. Uh, one nice thing is you can pick from a bunch of different aspect ratios. So let's go by nine by 16. We also have different output formats, PNG, JPEG. And then of course in here you drop in your API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my API key here and don't try and use it because I've already deleted this API key by the time this video comes on. And then we can either add in a save image or a preview image and go ahead and queue. And there you have it, a Stable Diffusion 3 generated image. And we can see here, the text is phenomenal. This is one of the big things that they've been touting about Stable Diffusion 3. The image is overall great. I've had a little bit of time to experiment with it and some of the images are great, but there's still issues with hands sometimes. We'll have to see how once the model comes out to the open source community, what they can build on top of that. And I'm really excited for that. Additionally, like SDXL, the images are all one megapixel, so derived off of 1024 by 1024 base. And in addition to a text prompt, we can also feed in an image. So let's go ahead and load in something. So let's go ahead and feed in something and we'll just use this image that I had from the IP adapter video. We'll go ahead and feed it in. And you know what? Let's keep the prompt the same. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Let's try it out. 
Okay, well, interestingly, it ignored the prompt, but it did do a couple of things with the image that we fed in. So let's have a look. This is really interesting. So it cleaned up the image, kind of gave it a bit of smoothing, some more defining features. Interestingly, it did add the Stable Diffusion 3 text here in the background, which is kind of cool. But for the most part, the image has kind of stayed the same. It's almost as if it's, it's taken it in as an IP adapter or a control net. Let's try and actually adjust the prompt to be a little bit more in line with the image that we fed in. Girl sitting in coffee shop, smiling. There we go. So interestingly, when you feed in an image, it almost acts as if it's an IP adapter or a control net, keeping a ton of elements the same while allowing you to manipulate little elements with prompts. Let's try and change the art style completely. Once again, very subtle differences. I don't know how well it followed the prompt, Studio Ghibli Anime, let's give it a bit more weight. Well, not quite there, but once again, this will take a lot of experimenting to figure out what the limits of the model are. One thing I will say is I have noticed in my experimentation that it is a lot easier to prompt the image. It's able to handle more natural language prompts rather than the prompt soup that we were doing with Stable Diffusion XL and Stable Diffusion 1.5. Once again, I am really curious to see what will happen once the open source community gets their hands on it and we take all of this new technology and let it loose. So what did you guys think? I've read online that a lot of people are not very happy with the quality output of Stable Diffusion 3. And while I have been a little disappointed with some of the images that I've generated, there's still issues with hands, the text generation is really impressive, as well as its ability to easily understand the prompt that I'm giving it. So we'll have to see what the open source community does with the model and how these new developments take it further. If you're interested in seeing more images from Stable Diffusion 3, once again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram or come and check us out in the Discord where I'll be dropping the images that I generate. Lastly, I know a lot of people will be annoyed that the open source model is gonna be behind the paywall, but remember, up until now, we've had these models available for free and someone has to pay the bills of researching and running the company that Stability AI is. And as long as the open source community continues to get access to the models, I think Stability AI asking for a small subscription fee is not the worst solution, as a lot of us were scared that the model wouldn't be released to the public. What do you think about the current situation with Stable Diffusion 3 and Stability AI? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey.